Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about the Loop Tools add-on that comes free with Blender. So to enable it, we go Edit, Preferences, and I'm just going to type in Loop. I've already got it turned on, so let's close that now. So first things first, the way to access it, first we have to go into Edit Mode. I'm going to press Tab, press W, and then we've got the options up here, Loop Tools. Now the first one we're going to be doing is Bridge, so I'm just going to quickly select this whole inside circle, and I've got this outside circle here, I'm going to press W, loop tools let's go bridge and now we can see that it's kind of bridged the gap hence why it's called bridge i can come down here into the top left and we can add in more segments the strength you know we can just play around with it a little bit more and get different effects for the next one we want to create circles so i'm going to go tab into edit mode let's select the circle that we want to create so we've selected this whole edge loop in here I'm going to press w again loop tools circle wham bam thank you ma'am let's just scale that in there we go, we've got a perfect circle, you little ripper. Let's come over here into the curve tool. So for instance, I can select two points here, W, loop tools, and let's go curve. Oh, look at that. And it made that whole curve straight line, which is rather interesting. I didn't think it was going to do that. From here, let's do the flattening tool. So for instance, I'm going to grab a whole bunch of faces. From here, let's go inside on, W, loop tools, and let's go flatten. And now we can see that that plane there is now flat. So what it's done is it's grabbed the average normal of each of the faces and kind of created a plane. So for instance, if I were to just select this whole mesh and go W loop tools flatten, it might not be perfectly straight. What do you know? It is. Let's do control Z. I'm just going to select everything and just rotate a smidgen. And now I go W loop tools flatten. We can see that it's flattened according to the average of the normals. And the last one is the relax tool. Let's select everything and go W, loop tools, and just relax. It just relaxes the mesh. And there we have it. Just a quick overview of all of the loop tools. If you want to help me out, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Keeps me up to date with my content. And if there are any other Blender add-ons you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments below.